Before you watch the whole video, let me just show you this specific clip. As you can see, we are stopped in this traffic light and the light is red. And in the GPS, you can also clearly see that it marked as red. But do you think Tesla FSD is a little impatient? Because we are stuck on this red light for more than one minute. And if you're watching this, that gray car from the opposite side passed and FSD is like, hey, I'm not gonna stop here for a long time. I'm just gonna make this left turn and it just uh, break that red light and make that left turn. Let me know in the comment what you think about this and this video will get much more interesting so let's watch it together. Navigate to at home. Hey everyone, welcome back to another full self driving videos and we are going to at home right now and we are using the latest and greatest for hardware 3 12.6.3 with that small bug fixes 0.15 release. So we're going to see how Tesla FSD take us from our ha home to at home without any intervention or anything like that. We're going to also observe if we have to do any critical disengagement or we have to assist the car. So let's find out how FSD takes us from point A to point B. Okay, guys, we just make that right turn immediately. Perfectly done. No problem at all. We are following the GPS. It will be a 12 minutes drive, guys. So we are proceeding, as you can see. And because this is very windy today, I'm not using the outside camera. But I'm also using a different camera angle so that you can have better visibility with a first person view, I would say, because a driver view is something like that. So this is what I'm trying right now. So let me know in the comment if you like this camera angle. Okay, so we are proceeding. We are going 41 miles per hour. And uh, yeah, we are proceeding, guys. Very good job by Tesla FSD, but it, it is still staying on the right hand lane. But in uh, like my previous test, immediately when we make that right turn, it moved to the left lane. But in this today's video, the car is just keep uh, like staying in this lane, not changing the lane at all. So we are proceeding though. Uh, no problem till now. We didn't have to touch anything. And uh, seems like my cameras and everything's are cleared enough and we're not having any issues. So we are going guys, right? Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out, grab yours on Amazon today. And also in this video, we're gonna observe if Tesla FSD goes into that parking lot and try to park in front of that at home store. But for that, I need to put the destination uh, to a parking uh, location, not exactly at home. When you do that, the car will go in front of at home, not in the parking lot. So for that, I'm going to change the destination later on. But uh, if we do that, then we can observe if Tesla FSD 12.6.3 reaches to our destination and tries to park on that parking location. So we're going to observe all of these. So we're till going. We are now stopped for this traffic light. We need to wait for a green light and then we can proceed again. And yeah, the light change. We're still keeping that uh, staying on the right lane, not moving to the left side. Really don't know why. It could just easily move to the left lane and go a little fast. Now it is doing it. Immediately I saw talk about that and you, you realize that the car just changed the lane and now going a little faster. Very good job there. Like a human, like when you realize like, okay, my front car is not going that fast. We can just change our lane and then go a little faster, right? There is a train track in front of us right now and uh, we're gonna also observe if the car slows down. Okay, 38, 37, slows down. Definitely slows down to 33, very good. Not like my preference, like it could just easily slow down um, probably 26 to 28 so that we don't feel that bump. Like, you know, like when the car goes over a train track, you can feel the bump, right? But uh, 
definitely the car slows down a tiny bit. So we are proceeding, we're just seven minutes away. The car is again changing the lane for some reason and move to the right uh, lane. And uh, we don't need to do that. We can just easily follow that lane and go faster. But the car decided to do that probably because of uh, in front of us, there is a truck. And whenever there is a truck, the car's visibility gets limited because the truck's high height is little higher compared to other cars. And that moment, the car can't see lights and everything properly because of the front car's height. That's why probably FSD prefers to change the lane and uh, move to the right lane. And now we can again move the, you know, change the lane and move to the left side. We're going to see if Tesla FSD do that or not. But we are going, guys. We are just following the right lane till now. So, yeah, immediately brakes. Uh, trying to brake hard a little bit on that yellow light gets a little confused. And then realizing, hey, if I just push... And I can just go easily on that yellow light. So it just pushed and uh, went through it. But uh, there was a certain confusion over there. And there was definitely a hesitation there. Uh, trying to break on the yellow light. And then realizing, okay, we have space. We have a little tiny time. We can go. And the car just uh, go through. Right, guys? Um, there is a still hesitation on this software version. In 12.6.1, I didn't see any hesitation at all. Really don't know why 12.6.3 has that. Um, probably also so many people comment on my X, on my videos, on my previous videos that they are like filling that also that 12.6.3 is kind of hesitant a little bit uh, compared to 12.6.1 so we're still following the right lane guys uh, really don't know why we are going 39 on 50 so that's the one thing i'm just noticing we are in hurry mood by the way because in hurry mood the car should just you know drive on the all the way left lane and go a little faster really don't know why the car deciding to just go slow so yeah guys very interesting right and now it is changing the lane if you're seeing that oh okay very close to that car like car really don't know why you do that oh my goodness like you, you don't need to do that, like changing the lane right now, realizing, hey, I'm just three cars behind and there are a space on our left lane. I'm just going to go like very human like driving, but didn't like the how the car proceeded over there. Like it was very close to that truck. <sighs> OK, OK, guys, very confusing, you know, like this drive, like 12.6.3. Um, we're just six minutes away and now we're going to play a game, guys. You are familiar if you watched my previous video that what kind of game we play. I'm going to tell you a number. I'm going to tell you a number and you are just going to comment below that number or whatever you want. Any thoughts, any idea, anything about my video, you can just comment below. But the number will be six. So please write down six on the comment section or anything you want. Any suggestion, any video you want to watch, any kind of test you want me to do. So please let me know in the comment. Uh, thank you so much, guys. We are just five minutes away to our destination and we are going. We are moving till now. Didn't have to touch the steering wheel once, but there was kind of tiny bit of critical situation arrived when the car changed the lane and went to the left lane didn't really like that because that was very close to that truck so we're going hey uh future Renato here my interior camera just suddenly shut off so i have to skip few frames it probably like 10 seconds so i just turn it on and you'll watch uh, whatever just happened uh after that so in that moment the car didn't did anything wrong i didn't have to touch the steering wheel and just want to let you know so that you understand why those frames are missing so let's get back to the video guys immediately turned on but uh, yeah very weird things with this camera i shouldn't tell that word so we're going right now and we're just three minutes away we have to change one more lane not one more lane we have to move to the left lane to make a left turn and get into this parking lot so we are going as you can see we're just two minutes away right now and uh, yeah we're gonna observe how fsd handles this whole drive and these road is kind of uh, critical because it's confusing also because when you go over there wow it knows what it is doing 
Perfect. It just came here on the red light. Stop there. Very good. Even even with the GPS, let me just zoom in a little bit. You see, we're here. We're going to make a left from here. But the GPS is showing us from all the way over there. It passes a little bit, few feet on that green light and then making that left turn. But FSD is not following the GPS. It's very interesting. And this is the right thing to do. The camera can judge that what I need to do. And the camera is doing what it feels to do. And it is doing it without any confusion. Like even if I'm following the GPS like this, this one, I make that same mistake going on the second uh, red light or traffic light and making, trying to make that left turn because the GPS is saying that. It is telling us to go from there. But FSD knows, hey, I'm just going to make a left from here because this is the right thing. We cannot just make a left from there. And we cannot just make kind of a U-turn and then get in because there is no U-turn sign in the front of us. If you saw that traffic light exactly over there, it is saying no U-turn. So we cannot just make a certain small U-turn to get in. So we have to stay here. Very good thing by Tesla FSD. Very amazing thing because it is not following the GPS. If it follows the GPS, it would just make the same mistake that I would do as a human driver, right? So very, very good. Um, so we're going to make a left turn. We need to wait. I don't know really why it is going on the red light. Um, shouldn't proceed. Shouldn't proceed at all. Really don't know why the car proceeded there. I could have easily brake, but I didn't prefer to do that because there is nothing. But I know I should have brake over there. Really don't know why the car just proceeded on a red light. Unbelievable, guys. Did you just see that? Like, it's, it's, it's not something I, I expect from FSD. Because it just did something amazing. It just did something very good and it passed that white line and then it stopped on that small stop sign probably saw that a stop sign because it's very tiny stop sign not a regular stop sign sizing or something but the car passed that white line and then brakes really weird weird stuff uh here um i was just praising fsd so much and then immediately fsd decided to make some mistake uh let me know in the comment guys what do you think why the car decided to go like it got like very frustrated like hey i I'm, i cannot just wait so long here i'm just gonna go this is what happened there like the car decided like hey it's been red light for so long i'm not gonna stay here i'm just gonna go really don't know guys so not pretty sure and now it is going into the parking lot and we're going to see if FSD is trying to park in a parking lot. It is showing us a parking sign that it is going to go left. But what kind of parking is that? And now we don't have that capabilities of backing out. Like, what kind of parking is that? We're just standing here. Like, unbelievable, guys. I'm going to take over. I'm going to take over. If, if you see those lane mark, you can see what kind of parking it did. So... I'm going to take over right now and I'm going to go and also just want to mention that this is not the parking lot of um, at home. At home is kind of at least 100 feet away from this area. This is a floor decor uh, parking lot. If you are getting into a shopping mall, you're not going to park here and get in from here. You're just going to go to at home and then you're going to get into that parking lot and then park, right? So very interesting there that the car decided to go and get in and park very weirdly, which I really don't prefer because I know you don't have that capabilities of parking in a parking lot right now, but you could just easily go somewhere else and then park like here. Like we can just park here. I'm just going to tap here. I'm going to press a start and we're going to just wait and the car will park by itself. So it is just waiting for that. Oh, wow. Did I just choose a different one? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Probably I didn't choose that one. Now it is parking, as you can see. Nicely done in one take. It didn't have to go anywhere. It didn't have to go straight, didn't have to do anything, just backing out. So if the FSD or the auto park feature can park like that, my question is, 
why can't it just saw that parking and not parking weirdly? Let me know in the comment, guys, because it could easily park like this on that spot, but it preferred to park very weirdly over there. So let me know in the comment, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.